What is up everybody? My name is Noah Banks, also known as the Millennial Health Coach, and today we'll be going over the three ways to eat more and still lose weight. Let's go ahead and dive right in. You're telling me that I can eat more food and still lose weight? Unsubscribe. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Let me, let me explain. Cutting down your calories by a lot is actually partially a myth. And the reason being is because if you think about it, your body's got to readjust its maintenance calories. It's got to lower it. And that's because it doesn't want you to starve. So it's got to actually burn less calories to try to maintain that amount. This is because when you're not consuming any calories at all, you are not gonna have the energy to work out, you're not gonna lift more, and at the end of the day, you're just gonna be wasting your time at the gym. I mean, come on, who wants to waste their time at the gym? We're already busy. And at the end of the day, when you really restrict your calories, you're actually more tempted to overeat when you actually do have a meal. This is because you're gonna be starving and you're gonna just wanna go eat and you're gonna wanna eat everything in sight. It's not healthy, but this doesn't have to be you is you can actually eat more and you can still lose weight. Now the first way to do this is actually to have more foods that have a lot more volume, but a lot less calories. So these are gonna be like your vegetables and your fruits. You wanna start thinking of ways that you can start substituting these very volume dense foods rather than having these calorie dense foods. And by doing this, you can actually fill your plate and your belly at the same time. I mean, did you know that having one cup of basmati rice is around 200 calories, while one cup of cauliflower rice only has 25 calories. That's only one eighth of the calories. The second way to eat more and lose more weight is actually to add snacks to your diet. Now I know this may seem a little bit counterintuitive, but it actually helps you to stay full throughout the day. And also you're eating consistently, so your body, your metabolism has gotta be going and working like a machine all day long. So start adding nuts, fruits, granola bars, protein bars. Use these as snacks throughout your day and into your diet. Now the third way to eat more and still lose weight is to actually have a heavier meal between an hour, 30 minutes before your workout. This helps your body have the adequate energy that it needs to fuel its workouts. Remember, food should be seen as fuel. Fueling your workouts leads to better results, you get stronger, the stronger you get, the more muscle that you have, and the more muscle you have, the more calories you burn, and the less fat you have. Those were the three ways to eat more and lose fat. Consume foods that are higher in volume and less in calories. Eat nutritious snacks throughout the entire day. And eat a heavier meal an hour before your workout so you can have enough adequate fuel to have an amazing workout that leads to better results. Now you may be wondering, well Noah, how much do I actually need to eat? And for this, I created a free healthy eating guide which basically helps you decide how much food you need to put on your plate and how much food you actually need to eat to continue to lose weight. So go ahead and check that out in the description box below. Now I hope this video was super helpful for you. If it was, feel free to like, subscribe, and also put in the comment box below what health topic you want me to address next. So I'll go ahead and catch you all next time. You already know, embrace the hype.